What's up, everybody? Emperor John Kill 3D Gaming here with another video, and I want to welcome you to my follow-up to why Modern Yu-Gi-Oh sucks and won't get any better, Part Two. Now, my last video came out last November, six months ago, and the amount of outrage and emotional breakdowns in the comments section—it was literally a fuss between those who agreed and those who disagreed. Now, there's no problem with agreeing and disagreeing and having people's opinions, but what I will not tolerate is my words in the comment section being manipulated and twisted and not agreeing with what people want you to agree with. See, that's the thing. that In the comment section, why I didn't answer to a lot of those comments because I felt that I didn't need to, the people who actually agreed with me gave me proper explanations to why they felt they agree while criticizing maybe a couple things I got wrong. Now, the rest of the comments are hilarious. Now, the reason why I'm not going to discuss too much about the game still, why it sucks right now in the modern sense, because later in the video, I will have my co-host, the Mad Kioma reviewer, he will be explaining the power creep problem and showing it on screen himself. So, with that being said, I have so many damn comments on this video that it's ridiculous but a lot of them are telling me and see this is not how you present an argument and these people don't understand that they're saying if i'm an old school player my modern me playing the modern game i don't have an opinion on it which is um who gave you that god-given right i don't know to tell me what i can and cannot talk about a review because i will and i damn so please they just they're commenting at my video about the game through their lens. They're not open to hearing anything else than what they want to hear, and I'm not going to do that. See, that's the thing about me. Just because a group of people uh, universally agree on something, that doesn't mean they're right. You know? I'm not saying I'm right, but at least I backed up what I was saying, and I have people to back up what I was saying. You know? He's trying to tell, some people are trying to tell me that issue, there was always issues. Of course, I said there was always issues in my first video. No one listened. There was always issues. I admit that. But at least in the original game, there was more creativity and there was more fun to it. And everything was unique. Now, everything feels sterile and generic. Especially when you look at particular archetypes where they all look the same. And they were trying to give me shit in the last video saying, oh, you're using an archetype. Yeah, I'm using an archetype to present and show what was going on. The Gravekeeper archetype. I have to show something. It's like, you want me to show proof, but you got bitch, you bitch out when you get the proof. So, telling me that I'm wrong in a lot of my thing, but I was like, how am I wrong? How? Like, they didn't provide arguments telling me I was wrong because they didn't break down the video. They only broke down what they felt they were right about. Like, I will read one right here. It says, and I quote, Bro acts like this hasn't been a common practice during the Dual Monsters and GX era. I never said that wasn't the case, so nice putting words in my mouth. There have been so many FUT and lockout strategies during that time, it's unreal. Well, didn't come across them. So if I didn't come across them, and I haven't heard about it either back then, and my cousin used to play competitive tournaments before in Manhattan Island in New York City, so he never experienced it. Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! is far more creative. No, it is not. Every archetype, you can't use cards outside of archetypes. You have to use this one card... For this specific deck or you have to use this card to that card to that card to that card that goes for magic traps and monster cards if they don't synchronize you're not going to have a good time or you're not going to get nowhere in the game and they're trying to tell me i've only played like here's the thing this just shows you that their arguments were falling apart it said they told me you didn't play actual Yu-Gi-Oh. how other way to play actual Yu-Gi-Oh? i've played the games I played the games themselves, and I played the card games. So how else did I did not play Yu-Gi-Oh? That argument for them falls apart. And telling, trying to basically degrade or discount my video or decredit uh, what I say, you know, to discredit what I say, saying that, oh, I could tell you only played in schoolyard Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, why am I still playing Yu-Gi-Oh to this day then? And I'm not in school anymore. So that 
is these guys are um their their arguments are really falling apart from what I'm seeing. And they're just saying your video is poorly constructed, and that's all they'll say. Well, where's the deconstruction? I don't see any deconstructions. They're saying my points were hollow, but they don't explain how they're hollow. And the only reason is they're explaining it through their biased lens. See, that's the problem. I'm not being biased towards the game. The comments and the people that want to hear what they want to hear are what's angry with the game. And that's the problem with one of the problems with modern Yu-Gi-Oh! is the newer players and the older players it's like the newer players feel like they're better than other players and okay that could be the case but it's just a game and i will still stand by what i said Yu-Gi-Oh needs to be played in eras okay old school Yu-Gi-Oh was far more creative i used to watch professional tournaments like i said at one point in time i lived in new york and my cousin would take me to manhattan all the time to go see them they made those cards work all the way up to the GX and 5D's set of cards. Hell, my cousin cousin won the freaking one of the big tournaments in Manhattan. I don't remember it because it was a lo really a long time ago. Um, I was about 13, 14 years old when I seen him do it. Um, he won with a Dark Magician deck against, at the time, the Stardust Dragons tuner deck and all that. And the dude he was playing was really good. Of course, how he all the way got up, got all the way up to the final match with him. And my cousin was the one who taught me everything he knew and even said that modern Yu-Gi-Oh! is just destroyed the older game. He still plays it, yeah, because you're not going to get rid or stop playing something that you love wholeheartedly. But just saying, I got comments still saying that, oh, I didn't make it in the first two minutes in and I already know you're wrong. Then... That just shows your bias toward the game. You don't want to hear what anyone else has to say but your own. That's the thing. You just don't want to hear what you don't want to hear. And I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's the problem. They want me to praise the game and lie to you. And I cannot do that. I will not. And, of course, it's my opinion to say these things. I didn't say anything and presented them as facts or tried to make them factual. But from what I've seen growing up, I can gather enough proof. You know, I have somebody in my family who was a professional player. And if anybody whose word I'm going to take is his, I'm not going to take the words of some butthurt strangers in the comment section. I played the game recently. Me and my friend, uh, Mac Yoma, we played fully with tournament style rules. And he was trying to show me why modern Yu-Gi-Oh! was a problem. He basically used these cards, even though he doesn't like them, but we had to use them for demonstration. He used so many different cards that all they did from the first two turns to the three turns. I may as well not even play the fucking game. I just had to either put my cards down or put the controller down. Because it's ridiculous how, then what's the point of playing? And what's the point of playing a game that ends in five turns? That is bad. That sucks playing a game that ends in five turns in older Yu-Gi-Oh the tension grew and grew with each turn now it just feels hollow and make you feel tired and what you could take a nap before somebody ends their turn in Yu-Gi-Oh that's the problem you could take a 10 to 15 minute nap before someone finishes their turn you know in modern Yu-Gi-Oh watching it play being played now like watching it professionally on like YouTube when they do tournament stuff I cut it off because it's boring as fuck. At least old school Yu-Gi-Oh, there was high tension. You never knew, even though we knew what monsters were there, it depended on how someone utilized the card. You could take the same, like, you could take one card from classic Yu-Gi-Oh and use it creatively in multiple different variations versus how you have to use this card with that card with this card with this card over here. If you don't have this card to go into this archetype, you're not going to have fun. Your whole game's going to fall apart. Everything's regulated to archetypes. Okay? Konami, well, this is Konami we're talking about. They've ruined the game over the course of time. They didn't have no power cap regulations. And only now are starting to support older cards because of the amount of criticism. 
But the thing is, with the hardcore fanboys, like the ones that stay at home in the basement, they don't understand that at one point in time, you can enjoy the game fully. You can fully enjoy the game in any manner you want. Craft your own kind of decks. And yes, even though there was archetypes back then, those archetypes were regulated to cards that maybe only did one or two effects. What's the point of having a card that has one or two effects being used if people don't get, like, if they get a card that's got ten effects on them? But this is a card that you liked using, but now you have to give it up to play with something that's like, uh, okay. And I feel bad for players that want to come back to the game because it's like even if you take, let's say, a year or two break or maybe three, wow, you're not going to be able to know what the fuck to do. And learning it is a hassle. Yu-Gi-Oh! does not have a user-friendly, easy-to-get-into experience anymore. It's just become too complicated. And the only argument that people are going to present to it to this is just going to say you're stupid you don't know what you're doing get good blah 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 you know you're done duh, duh, duh. we don't care that you're just going to get those kinds of arguments over and over and over and that was 90 percent of the comments section you know it was very hard to find people that actually gave you a gentleman's general breakdown of things without inserting their own bias of the game into it and that's what makes my video and what I said different than what anyone else has to say about it because I'm not going to blindly support the game or suck the game's dick of Yu-Gi-Oh just because I grew up with it. If you love a game, you criticize some something. If you love something, yes, you can love it through its times and the bad, but if you only support it through its good and can't say nothing about its bad, then you're really a fan. You're just a circumstantial fan. You only support it when it benefits you. Or really, you can probably just be on an endless winning streak. A lot of modern Yu-Gi-Oh! players don't remember the good old days of playing the game. Or the entertainment and the actual creativity that it did have back then. Because I know what's going to happen. I make this video. They're going to get triggered. They're going to come up with a million different excuses. But that's why... In this video, I have Matt Kiyoma explaining, and he plays more professionally than I do. He will know the ins and outs. So, if anybody's word besides my cousin, who was an actual professional, I'm going to take their word as gospel versus the word of somebody who's probably just playing in comic book store level tournament at best or arcade level mall getting together tournament levels. I mean, I'm just not going to do that. So... Modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I still play it, but it has a huge problem. And with the way Konami is going and with the way the modern fans support the game, Konami's not going to see no reason to make it better or be able to bring user -friendly for a user-friendly format into the game. It's either that or you're going to get left in the dust. That's why I envy you Pokemon fans and Magic the Gathering fans. You guys still have ways of introducing the game to people all these years later, even if nobody's ever played it before. But Yu-Gi-Oh! is not the same that it used to be. It's become very corporate, shallow, and hollow. And that's the last thing I needed it to be, was hollow. Alright, we're going to trans over, transition over to the Mac Humor Reviewer, and you guys take care. No, I suppose I'm live. Good, 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 good. Good to see you all. I'm basically filming this for I guess you say here and for another person to use it as well as a secondary footage video basically saying how modern game mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh can break the damn game this would be on YouTube uh, Shogun Kyo the Razor speaking now if we're gonna go for my deck I'm gonna go show you right here uh, this one here is my familiar deck okay I literally have a pretty good combination to a degree which, which I'll basically explain the XYZs, how they're using spammable, the familiars, and certain ways you can literally lock someone out my way I use it. Technically, I use it if I want to play in the real world, I use a few banned cards which really piss people off. Like, I can, if you throw a Jinzo and certain other abilities in here, you can really screw somebody over. 
Okay, there's the familiar deck. Let's go ahead and explain a little bit about this. My example is a Charmer. I run a Charmer type engine in real life, which makes it fun anyway. Because you can really make it so your opponent underestimates you. Your girls look so deadly! Already example, for example, Waking of the Possessed. This card, believe it or not, can be used in almost anything. Anything. I mean, you don't even have to have a spell chaster. Monster control game, 300 chat attack points for each different... You, you, you get the thing. Every, as long as it's a different element, it gains 300 extra attack points. Okay. Well, that sounds fun. I don't know if it was a normal charm or I draw one. Good, I get to draw again thing. Now, if I can get the correct cards to show you how to really break the game. By the way, this is the exact card I killed John with. A certain s combination skill I literally can... Already, you've already got this high of a turn in the first turn. One of the things with modern Yukio is if you get the first turn, make sure you get all the right cards. You win! You can win in the first three turns. Oh crap. Also the weakness on uh, downside to the Charmer deck for the next nine years is Well Another fun thing about Charmers is I believe they have big piercing damage. Oh no they don't. Sorry, this is turn number two and I've already just like took a chunk out of this person's life points. This is one reason why a person seeing ever hates modern Yukio. If I really took seriously use my charge for the kids. Full abilities, you can shut people down. That is modern Yukio in a nutshell. So long as you draw first, you can win. There's another thing he completely can't stand, but I can understand why people don't like it. Oh, back to the effect of a card. Oh, uh, yep. These would be quick effect. Quick hand cards. These annoy the crap out of certain people, too. Uh, uh, and then, do that. Completely special summon. There it is. Got the right one. That. There we go. Oh, don't worry. As soon as I get the correct element in there, I am going to show show the the uh, one trick, which is good. Exceed summons. These can be really spammable easy. I put two four star monsters down. Bam! I get summon that. Already, if I had these two down here, two four-star monsters, see the attack power boost these guys get? Bam! Now, this is turn five, but otherwise it's basically been, what, two, three turns? It's been a few minutes talking. Also, Elmo the Hero, he's using a fusion-type deck. Like that, only 20,000 damage. You can kill someone that quick in modern Yukio if you know what you're doing. Example A. And yes, I know I'm using basically the easy tierish people, but I'm just doing this for put it for a friend. Again, I'm gonna see if I can draw a certain combination deck that can do it. But yeah. You know what you're doing? Three turns to five that was five turns. Yeah, the game was over. And five turns, you can successfully kill the game. Ah! Ah! That card just came out in a structure deck too, but I'm not gonna go. I can't. I can go full on that. Now, then there's these good old tricks: the life trip, life point loop tricks. Oh, everyone loves a good life. Point loop trick. Mm -hmm. 
There's never one thing I like about Final Downtown. It's about 20 turns, which most games won't even last. Because I'll guarantee you that Final Final, I'll, I'll kill this game before Final, Final Countdown ends. That's how fast modern Yu-Gi-Oh game can end. Using Exposition A. Like you think that would be a threat, he's 95 points of air. Boink! I've knocked you down that low. As I said, most older cards like Final Countdown won't work. I'm trying to draw a card Skill Drain. For example, Luna here can really piss people off. See his effect? See his effect? Bam! I sent the card back at you. Normally that's how that would work, but... Yeah, that really pisses people off when you pull that trick. Oh, well that was lovely. Game isn't going completely one-sidedly in my favor as I thought it could. Good. Sequence break it. I'm gonna fix this again. One point I want to make because some people like you talking about older cards. I'm just gonna sh show you. Yeah, you can. Again, an older card like Mage's Power, as long as you have the back row. Put a whole bunch of here. You took that. Good, I drew it. Or he has one in his graveyard. I can also show you again why a person hates link cards. Because, let me see here, special summon this, this, link to these. Allows me to special summon my fire card. Links have also broken the game severely. This one links something. I can activate for the link thing. And I can take that card that you have right there from your graveyard, put that right here. Considering you already that, your base, bunk, dunk, dunk. Link cards were another thing that people hate because we old cool them. Really, the ones that really will get you for hand traps, which I kind of showed you earlier, a hand special ability card. See, like that there, that's a hand card ability. Oop, got rid of his one card there. But still, link cards can steal your card in your graveyard. That really pisses people off. Or any of the most link effects anyway, in a nutshell. Lord knows how many videos I've seen. Why modern Yukio pisses me off. Oh, remember when Yukio was fun. And Darts is using the fucking so long as I do this card. Again. Again, I will show you that you can lose that certain cards like this are almost useless. A card like Final Doubt now, which would be very powerful back in the day. Not so much. Unless you're playing with someone that likes to play old school, old generation tricks, as long as you don't use these tricks. Lord knows I pull this kind of trick ability thing without, like, put loops in. I'll piss off the person that's gonna help commentate over this. So, yeah. Aurora Jar is another one, like the cards that can't be destroyed, like Aurora Jar. 
Oh man, that's what piss people off. And you gain 500 life points every turn. And there you go, everyone. I didn't even get a chance to use Final Countdown, which would have been useful in old school format, because then you would delay people. Um, I just showed you how broken some Link cards can be, and man, there's some more that are more broken, and all the above. I think all these cards demonstrate here show you why the person that's making this video can't stand modern Yu-Gi-Oh in a nutshell. Now, some would say, oh, it's adaptability, they can't adapt with the times. No. It's probably because this game's been going since 2002. It's like the second longest running TCG game. Like, literally. And you will, if you look at something like Pokemon, believe it or not, Pokemon's format has not changed very much. The uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering, their format changes constantly, and they are just like, it's really hard to get to. You take someone, try to explain modern Yu-Gi-Oh!, give them three structure decks, three of the newest structure decks, which I think is the Trap Trick ones, you say, here, go make your deck out of that, take them to a local store, they're gonna go, what the fuck? That's just how that goes nowadays. Because especially if they haven't played since like 2008. So yeah, or when this aired, they're gonna be completely lost, so yeah. Me, on the other hand, I'm highly adaptable and know this, how this game can go and quickly at my feet. And I also like playing against older people and, and making their life lovely hell. So it makes it funny on both forms. Eh. But there you go. Here's the section I needed this film for uh, a sort of for this for their review on why they hate modern Yukio. This is my opinion of modern Yukio in a nutshell. Um, it's great to troll people, especially if you know if you're friends with. And especially take a friend you don't know in eight years, put them in front of this, and you know the game, you'll make you'll make them want to pull their hair out. Oh, and by the way. These Shizu decks can kiss my ass, I'm glad they got nerfed, along with Mystic Mine. Uh, have a great day, y'all.